Hey there everyone, uh, it's the Unknown Fox here today, and I was taking a look around Rocket League's new map of, uh, you know what, I'm gonna mute the game, of Sovereign Heights. Yes, it's available right now in free play mode, but there was something I just decided, you know what, I want to play a match in this, so I did. Then I'm like, I want to see the replay and wander around. So there's a few things I've noticed. One is that over here looks like an empty space. I don't know if I just started the game. Okay, so looks like an empty space, but if I come over here, these guys are backwards and they're only one-sided, meaning they they have to flip them around because they have colon turned on. Same with these guys. However, I noticed that, um, I believe it's over here. If I just head on over here real quick, they have all these pedestrians along the street that you never see. But they're, okay, these ones also have colon. But these ones, you can see from either side. So I think they miss out on these guys. And, uh, also this guy has a top hat. Begging for money. Right there. Anyway, uh, so I was looking around. Oh, wait a second. So I noticed that there's a parking garage with a platinum symbol. Okay, I just had to press play so it starts spinning. Um... I'm gonna actually leave it going. I couldn't really find anything else. Found psionics. Uh, psionics exists in game universe, so that's cool. And then I found right over here is where the trailer for the game takes place, and there appears to be a little cafe right here where people are just sitting around. Um, I mean, I don't think you can really see it from over there, but then I started thinking into this, also, then, produce. Okay, so that's a grocery store, apparently. So then I started realizing something. Mostly, as I was looking at these guys over here, if you come down to their point of view, First off, they are tiny. Like, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Look at this. These, like, these guys are tiny. But then I was going around. Let me just rewind just a little. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm like, I have to drop down even then. To see the car. So that means that the car height is this height. I am at eye level with where the car is seen. So I'm like, are these mini cars? Are they actually RC cars? Like, what is this? Because in the trailer, it looks like they're full on, like, full size uh, cars. And then over here, you have a gym. Uh, with a nice little alleyway that goes nowhere. You got a ramen shop, you got art store. It's kind of cool how much detail they put into this. They even have, if I go up here, um, they have a freeway. Wait, 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 I just discovered some lore. So the Aquadome is about 2,000 miles that way, or about, how many meters would that be? I'm trying to think. Anyway, and then Beth, Beckwith Park is the next exit. No way they actually did that. Also, there's a Cracker Factory. Pretty cool. 
Um, there's nothing on this sign, unfortunately. And then here is the giant bridge that they mostly showed off with this map. Like, if you, like, from here, it's like the key feature of this whole map. And I think that's very cool. You got some cranes over there, but that's not what I wanted to show. What I wanted to show, okay, all of this is neat and stuff. What I wanted to show is you come right down here, you see that it says Sovereign, no, is that Sovereign Crew? Anyway, and it's got an egg being cracked and um, the yolk has been the background. However, and also, yes, there appears to be some names or some tags, I want to say. However, the terrifying part of this comes from this sign right here. Just look at it. This confirms one thing. Also, I think he's on a piece of bacon, but that could just be wood. They are actually eggs. They are literally eggs. And they have a face. This one has a face. But the yolk has a face. So, like, this is... How do you react to this? And he's losing his top. So does that mean he's gonna die? Like, or is the yolk his real self and the egg is a protective cover? This goes deep. Like this, this billboard did not have to exist. But for some reason they decided to make it exist. Also, I wanna look at this clock. Does it move when I start to it does. So there is actually in-game time. Oh, I want someone to do a lore theory on this game, honestly. I want someone to look around the maps and actually do a full-on lore or a full-on theory. Oh, like, look at this! What is this? They're all eggs. But you got a giant cat. You got monsters. You got, like... What's this about? And also these stop signs. I don't know if they're stop signs, yield signs. I guess they'd have to be stop signs because they're not triangles. But, like, why the exclamation? Why not just the word stop? And then, unless if these, if this also confirms they don't speak in actual text, they speak in exclamations or punctuation. That's a possibility. But then there's this. Now they got a flower down at the bottom. And it looks to be a queen. A, because, well, that's a face right there, and she's wearing a crown. Um, but also, looking around, you got this guy. He's he's bigger than everyone else, I think. Is he? Or is he? Yeah, something's different about him. But he's wearing a hat over by an alley, which leads back to this cafe. Also, there's a pizzeria. That's cool. But wait a second. This. I'm gonna hide that. This throws me off so much more. Like. Do they cook each other? Like. Like, what is up with everything? I'm I'm not understanding. Also, yes, ignore that the building is split in half. That's just a 3D trick to uh, 
produce geometry. However, this building doesn't have that group. And it's actually fully detailed with bricks and stuff. Like, look, if you look at some of the bricks, they've actually got little um, scratches and stuff. Surprised they didn't use a normal map to actually make it look like. Uh, I guess it's got a little bit of a normal map. Um, but then you got this highway, of course, which leads up. Actually, where does this lead? I'm gonna follow this. But it's just like. Also, this is really cool. With the uh, with the lights and stuff, they even have for no reason. You can't even see it from over there, but they have a sewer emitting smoke. Oh, this splits off, so it goes. Okay, so that's an on ramp to the main road. This is an on ramp that goes. That way. Okay. I wonder. They don't have street signs along here, do they? I guess there's only one street sign, unless if up here they decided to do one. I'll speed this up. Wait a second. Why is there a random light right here? What is going on over here? Oh. It's two. What's this about? Okay. I didn't realize this straight so far. You know what? I think that's just part of the buildings. Like, you see how there's lights on all the corners? I think that's all it is. Yeah, no. There's no signs on this road. However, we do know which direction this road is heading. This road right here is north to south. And how I know that is because if we go back over here, if we go on back over here to these signs, also, that's interesting that they have the buildings right down there. You can see that this says east, meaning um, if you're moving that way, you're going east. So that's west, that's south, so this is north. This is north. Right here. There, there's a lot of lore implications or like story implications to this game. So what's the name of this? Center... Hang on. Center... Centered Park. Okay. Sorry, it took me a moment to realize it just said centered. Um, but the clock. The clock actually ticks. Does it actually change every minute? I'm curious now. Oh, no, it's just one hand that moves. Unfortunately. Wait a second. It's not affected by this. So it, it literally stays going. Is it is it showing what time it actually is? No. Okay. I did not mean to do that. Also, yes, I was one before in the AI. So also, here's a good look at the new map. I'll just do an aerial view. Um, right here. Oh wait, I forgot I'm going backwards now. So yeah, here's, here's an aerial view of the new map. I kinda wanna get the dead center. There we go. You can see the diagonals, you start off in circles where, um, I think, 
I don't know, do any other maps do that where you start off in a circle on the diagonal kickoff? Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Basically, one, the Opera Dome is that way. Also, it's right next to Rotation City, which is Beckwith Park. So that's interesting. So this, would that mean that this sport is so popular that they gave it street names? I mean, the Aquadome itself specifically has a location. And a team. Like if you, hang on, hang on. If I go right here, there's a tiny little team next to the Rocket League. I doubt anyone driving by would notice that. But also, this is a one, two, three, a three lane road. Would be four, but it gets cut off. And I know the reason is because of UV mapping not really being done right or they just don't care enough. Like here it's completely flipped. And this actually this line right here implies that there's flipped normals, meaning like the geometry is facing the wrong way. Either that or it's overlapping and casting shadow. It could be just that it's overlapping and casting shadow. Anyway, but this is like, so they com they confirm where the Aquadome is and where Beckwith Park is. They show that there's more than just Rocket League in this world of Rocket League. And they strangely advertise people being injured in some way and enjoying it like excuse me you people are eggs it's written on the walls literally and you're advertising this and that like i don't even know how to describe the confusion I'm feeling about this. Also, right about the dumpsters that got their in their fire escape. I'm not sure how good of an idea that is. Also, I'm kind of you know what? I wonder is there an Easter Island head hidden somewhere on this map? Because I know they typically do that. I actually found it for the last map, the Utopia, like, the Gilded. Um, I can showcase that. Yeah, I can, I can show you guys in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so... I I hope you enjoyed knowing that little knowledge. Um but yeah, they got giant um what are these called? Cranes. Got giant cranes just out here. They're actually fairly detailed for being all the way out here. I kinda wanna model one now. Um but yeah, I'm going to look around for an Easter Island head or something because I know that they have them in pretty much every game of this map. Or every game of this map. No, in every map of this game, there is at least one. And it's kind of cool to find them anyway. I wonder where they would hide it. I mean, it'd be somewhere, like, I guess it wouldn't really matter because 
you cannot see it from the field in most cases, like the one I just showed. Um, anyway, with that said, I think I'm going to end this video here, and when the next season drops, not sure that I'll post any videos about it, or any gameplay videos or whatever. I have recorded a couple, but I'm like, eh, probably, probably not that interesting, to be honest, and now they're a little outdated, so. I don't want to post something that's going to be outdated. Also, trash can. I wonder if it's in the trash can somewhere. I know that there was a top pad over here. Was it? No. No, no, no. Other side. It's... Let's see. You go down the alley. It's got to be over here somewhere. Like, I see this guy. And he's got a top hat. Okay, no. Anyway. See you guys in the next video. Bye.